we got our guy. That's how the Seattle Kraken are putting it. We are following breaking sports news this morning, and Ian Furness broke that news here on Q13 News. Dave Haxtell, the first ever head coach of your Seattle Kraken ahead of their first NHL season, which begins this fall. So Ian joins us now. So tell us a little bit about Dave Haxtell. This, this name kind of came out of nowhere. It did. Good morning, Bill, and good morning, everyone. Yeah, it did. There was a, a lot of speculation as to who the first head coach for the Seattle Kraken would be. A lot of names being tossed out there. We thought Rick Tockett was a leading candidate. A number of other names mentioned. Never was the name Dave Haxtall mentioned, but he is indeed, as the Kraken said, their guy, their first head coach in franchise history. He'll turn 52 years old next week. He is a former head coach at the University of North Dakota, also with the Philadelphia Flyers, most recently an assistant coach with the Toronto Maple Leafs, longtime college coach, didn't have great success his first time in the NHL as a head coach of the Philadelphia Flyers, but that happens oftentimes, making that transition. He was the first college coach in 33 years to go directly from college head coach to NHL head coach. This time around, though, he has the ability to help probably put the roster together, which I think is a big part of why they hired Dave Haxtell pre-expansion draft and pre-NHL entry draft bill. North Dakota, huh? Kind of interesting. There's another former North Dakota guy, Seattle guy, TJ Oshie, who I would love to see be made available in that expansion draft, which is coming up in July. Uh, so what's the reaction in the hockey world about the, the hiring here? Uh, Bill, I would say at best it's mixed, but that's the case with almost any coaching hire. You, it's because most coaches have had success and then maybe even fired along the way. That's just the nature of being a coach. But, for example, Greg Wyshynski from ESPN, a well-respected hockey writer, their senior hockey editor, he said hiring Dave Haxtell is an excellent test of the goodwill the Kraken have built up in a short time. Obviously, that is uh, not a ringing endorsement. But also from ESPN, Emily Kaplan talks about Ron Francis appreciates Haxtell's attention to detail was incredibly well prepared for the interview process, clearly laying out his philosophy to take the players from draft into the inaugural season. And, of course, another team in town, the Sounders, welcoming Dave Haxtell to Seattle as well. And it's interesting the Sounders say that there has been no more successful expansion franchise in the history of pro sports than our soccer team right here in Seattle. The Sounders, they have made the postseason each and every year. They're undefeated right now. They've won a couple MLS, MLS Cups. I know it's a different sport but they set a very high bar, as did the Las Vegas Golden Knights for an expansion team. But Dave Haxtell, the new head coach, uh, I think he may have a little rougher go than Vegas did. It may not be as easy as Las Vegas had it a few years ago, Bill. Well, we shall see. I mean, that, that expansion draft uh, coming up next month, that's going to be incredibly exciting as they fill the roster. And then the number two overall pick in the entry draft. And with his background in the Czech Republic, interesting. Robert Kron, too, their head of scouting. I wonder if they're thinking international maybe for their number two overall pick. Well, I, I think they might be. And I think when you look at how this season played out in North America, some of the junior leagues, the Ontario League not playing, the Western League played a shortened schedule. You may have a better evaluation with some European players, but the top players for most people at the top of that entry draft list are a couple guys from not North Dakota, but from the University of Michigan. Right. So I think college heavy as far as the top of the draft is concerned. And they're going to get an, in, uh, an impact player almost to be sure. Ian, thank you. And a reminder, we're going to be streaming that official 10 a.m. announcement at Q13Fox.com.